Okay, I just wanted to walk you through an example of this FET simulation. So once again, you're going to download it. And if you can't get the simulation to work, you can crank through the numbers of this by hand. But it's a lot better to, to get the simulation to work so you can actually plug in some numbers. Okay, so let me go ahead and reset all. You can um, add graphs in here. So it's similar to before where there are position velocity and acceleration graphs with the additional graph of the applied force. And you can turn the force vectors on or off and kind of have a little free by diagram of it. You can also change the objects that are being pushed around and the friction. So let's say I have a 50 kilogram file cabinet that has a kinetic friction coefficient of 0 0.2. And I'm going to start this guy all the way over at the wall. So I'm going to set the position to negative 9 meters over here. And I want to know if I push this. So maybe I push it from negative 9 to negative 4 and then let go. And after I let go, I would like it to coast to a stop by the time it gets to 8. So this is kind of a um, work and energy problem, right? So we start with zero energy. And I'm going to push it forward. So that will be force through a distance work that will make it go faster. But then it also has friction that is slowing it down. So the work to push it will be some distance. The friction will act over the entire distance. And I can set up some energy balance equations here. Okay, so it looks like there's a, there's a marker at 4. If I go from 9 to 4, okay, so that'll be my distance that I am um, pushing it over. So this will be a plus work because if I push it through that distance, it'll speed it up. And there's also a friction force. And the friction force, let's say I want this cabinet to stop when it reaches around the 8 meter mark. Okay, so the friction force is going to go from negative 9 to plus, positive 8 or 17 meters. And then the distance that I'm pushing is only going to be this 5 meters. And we're going to start from rest, end from rest. So it really comes down to a battle of force through a distance on this. Okay, so if I plug this in, it looks like I would need a force of around 330 if I'm pushing it just up to 4. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out on the simulation. I probably won't get it right. It's like one of those arcade games where you have to um, stop it at just the right spot. So I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to really try to stop it at negative 4. So I will stop the simulation. Then I will reset the force and kind of let it go and see how long it takes to slide to a rest. I'm hoping that it would slide to a rest at 8. And I'm probably not going to stop it exactly right, but hopefully you'll get the, the point of it. Okay, so I'm pushing, 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 and then stop. Ooh, I did not stop at negative 4, but... We'll see. So that means it's going to go farther than 8. Okay, so now I'm setting the force to 0. And I'm going to restart it. And, oh, I crashed in. Okay, but it was, you kind of get the point of it. So I'm going to apply a force for some part of it and not apply a force to the other part of it, this, this negative friction force, this is going to be acting along the whole time. And if I get this just right, so I'm speeding up the velocity, and then the velocity is going to go back to zero. And looking at the positions, I want that position to stop at some, at some specific place. Okay, let me go ahead and reset all. Let's try this one more time. So once again, I'm going to change to the file cabinet over here. And here's my 333 force. And I'm starting at a position of negative 9. And I'm going to try and stop it at negative 4. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's closer. Okay, so now that I've paused it, I'm going to reset the force to zero. And I still overshot it a little bit, but maybe not quite as much. Oh, it's still kind of crashed. But it's getting closer, so I almost reached a velocity of zero there. Okay, so hopefully that's, it's just a game, and the point of it is to get you really used to this work energy balance through this. So starting velocity, ending velocity, what's slowing it down, what's speeding it up, and adding together all of that and then seeing a, a goofy little simulation to go along with it too.